What's happening, y'all? I'm on the spook. Um, just got up from a nap. Woke up with some energy. So I said, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. All from the time I got out of work, which was at six, right? To eight o'clock, I've been up with my son. My son has been acting up full. I feel like, you know, I'm gonna take some accountability. I feel like it's because of my energy. My energy is so high that he was just, you know, loving it. And he could not sit still for nothing. He was just, man, he had me beat, right? And so I tried, we went everywhere. I, I took him to this, I took him to this place where he could run around still wasn't tired. We went to the park, he wasn't tired. We went for a run, he didn't get tired. I'm like, all right, let's get back in the crib. We get back in the crib, we working out to some, we working out to some music, he didn't get tired. I'm like, this dude, god damn. He reminded me of myself when I was young. And, you know, just full of energy, just, I could not sit still when I was young. I was always somewhere either hooping, playing football, playing baseball in the yard. Or, you know what I'm saying, I just always was doing something. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that ain't even what this video about. It was just, I, I probably took like a four, a four hour nap. And I had a dream, I was fighting my sister cats. It was funny, a little bit, I guess. They was fighting me out like, in a dream, I literally felt them scratching me or whatever and stuff. And so I was like, we was fighting, I was punching them and stuff. I don't know, weird. But, um. This is just some motivation for y'all. This video is gonna be some motivation as far as for the men who can't understand semen retention some more. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, how do you deal with blue balls and how do you deal with urges? Cause I, believe me, bro. Yesterday, all day, I had a urge to, man. I had a urge to fuck, like for real. I really wanted some pussy bad, like, and I was missing, I was missing my, the mother of my child, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit, I was missing the fuck out of her, like, more than I ever had, I'm like, what the fuck is going on, like, why is my body wanting to fuck right bad, like, real bad, and I'm like, bro, it was so, it, it got so, the urges got so goddamn bad to the point where I thought I was finna bust. Like, I really thought I was finna nut. So I was like, all right, get your ass up right now. Like, if it, it felt like I was finna release, so I just got up and started doing push-ups. I knocked out, I knocked out uh, 500 push-ups. I feel like this nigga follow me, man. What the fuck is going on? The fuck? Nah, this nigga switched lanes with me. That's weird. I'm gonna drive slow on purpose, man. You can go past me, bro. What the hell you on? Boom. Yeah, man, the urges was... Man. Bro, I wanted the fuck bad. And I wanted my dick suck bad. So I was like, bruh, all that means, like, when you dealing with horniness on this journey, bro, when you get real, like, super duper horny, like, you, like, when your body starting to tell you, like, bruh, you want some pussy. Like, your flesh is telling you that, you gotta get your ass up and defeat that urge, because that urge gonna take over, and then you might go back to what you know, which is beating your shit. But me, Nigga, it's been so fucking long. It's probably it, it's probably been a good year now. Year and some change that since I last like played with my dick and bust. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't do that no more. I just I need me personally, I need the real thing. I want the real thing and I need the real thing. 
I'm not gonna relapse to my hand. That's to me. That's just that's pitiful. And I'm not saying y'all pitiful for doing it because I trust me. I used to edge. I used to do all that, but I know what comes after edging. Literally, you come like you literally, bro. And then after you edge, look at the law. It's gonna pull their ass over. Then after you edge. When you bust, bro, you gonna be so goddamn mad, bro. I used to be so mad when I released after holding for a month or 50 days, 40 days, and then I was edging like, like, hold on, man, I can do this. I ain't, I ain't gonna bust. And then I bust, and then, I, bro, I used to be swinging. Like, you know, like, Trey, our boys in the hood, when he got in the crib, and he was swinging, like, I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm that was me. That was me. I was, bro, I was so goddamn mad. I'm like, it ain't no way I just buzz. After all that goddamn work I just put in. But ain't nobody at the gym. I love it. I'm finna get on the, finna get straight on the treadmill. But look though, to deal with them urges, to deal with, you know, you, you getting horny, like super duper horny. Cause it's gonna happen, bro. We all, we men at the end of the day. You got to get your ass up and stay productive, bro. I don't care what you got to get your ass up, bro. Do not sit with that energy in your balls or in your body. All that say, when you when you get horny, when your dick get hard as fuck out of nowhere, because it's going to happen, bro. My dick, bro, my dick was so fucking hard yesterday. I'm, I, I started telling myself, like, bro, either you going to... Either you going to defeat the, the lust and temptation that's rising right now, the horniness, or it's going to defeat your ass. You 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 battling yourself right now, bro. It's, it's all about your mental toughness. Because I, I, like, really wanted some pussy. I really, like, I was ready to kill some shit. So I'm like, bro, get your ass up. Do some push-ups. I started shadow boxing with my weights in my hand. I just had to get up. I had to get up. I started squatting, all kind of shit. You know what I mean? So you got to get your ass up and be productive, bro. Or that shit just going to take over. And then you're going you gonna to release the best way you know how to. So, but me personally, I wouldn't edge at all. I wouldn't edge. I would not edge. That's just a recipe for disaster. So you got to get just get up and stay productive. All that horny, the horniness and, and your dick getting hard, all of that shit. All that is saying to you. It should start clicking in your head. This is what I do. Anytime I get horny and shit, I, 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 tell, I tell myself that's just energy. That's just energy ready to, ready to be used and transmuted. So anytime you get horny, your dick get hard, anything like that, all you got to do is say, it's time to get productive. It's time to do something with this energy. Stay creative. Like, okay, I can go make a rap song with this. I can go, uh, shit, start writing a book. I could start drawing. I used to draw like a motherfucker when I was, I don't draw no more, but I used to draw like a motherfucker. Um, what else? I could just learn a new skill with this energy. Uh, stay, just stay creative, man. This is your creative life force energy. It's literally your creativity rising every single day. So just stay creative with it. You could, bro, it's having abundance mindset, bro. It's means that it's, it's count. It's, inf it's, it's, it's infinite things that you can do with this energy, bro. Just start thinking. Don't think with your dick. Because you are, we all know what's going to happen when you think with your dick. Think with your mind and start being creative. That's it, man. I love you all. I'm Dom with the Spook. Shout out to all the new subscribers. The OG subscribers that's been here since day one. Um, Keep your power. Keep God first. Say your prayers. Get in the gym. Get your body right. Your physique right. You know what I'm saying? Your physique right. Uh... You know, and just take care of business, man. Stand on business. Stand on what you say. Respond. Be uh slow to respond. Don't be quick to react to anything. Uh, stay in your masculine frame. And um, my end of remarks, man. Be nurturing too, because a lot of people be intimidated. They just want to be around you and stuff, because you you do become a magnet on this journey and stuff. So my best advice is just be nurturing. You know, 
Um, don't be gullible. Don't be naive. But at the same time, be nurturing to one another. Love one another. Spread love, peace, pros uh, prosperity. And, you know, it's going to come back to you. Even to your ops. Even to your enemies that's attacking you and stuff, bro. Just be cool. Just be a... Because you a walking converter, man. You convert the negative energy into positive energy. You feel me? So, you know... That just, that's just my perspective on things, you know what I'm saying? You take what resonates with you and then you apply it to your life, man. I'm not saying that I got all the answers. It's just I got some wisdom with this because I've been in the trenches with this journey for two, going on three years. I love you. Peace.